in a holy burial ground of some sort. Utilizing the best minds in linguistics and UAC proprietary pattern recognition software, the tablets were exhaustively examined. Mathematical concepts behind teleportation. UAC researchers use this information as the cornerstone for building the Delta teleportation devices. The second and third tablets illustrate an epic story, a story of war, and how, faced with impossible odds, the ultimate sacrifice of an entire race to achieve victory. The fourth tablet details how the essence of each individual was captured and placed in the artifact we now refer to as the Soul King. This device was wielded by their mightiest warrior, and with it he banished the invading horde forever. Our researchers are still analyzing a recently found hidden section of the fourth zone and some related fragments. It goes into detail on the invading force and indicates the remaining survivors may have teleported somewhere. Where we do not know, although it seems to reference a map we have yet to locate. To date, there remains no evidence of any type of invasion at any of the sites. Our This is Dr. Pierce Rogers, lead archaeologist currently stationed on Mars. As the preliminary reports have suggested, we have made some amazing discoveries here on Mars. Life on Mars has long been theorized, but we never imagined anything like this. The initial chain was discovered in 2115. It leads into what is now known as Site 1. Site 1 is the largest of the sites, and we are still actively working there. It is made up of a series of chains and connecting tunnels, all of which are covered in glyphs and symbols. Using the UAC pattern processor, we have finally been able to understand some of the glyphs. And from them, here is what we have learned. The ancient people looked like us, at least to the extent that they were bipedal and were similar in shape and size. Their level of technology is astounding. For instance, the glyphs at each site were the UAC carved into the rock by some sort of machine, the and each one is precisely cut from the stone. It far exceeds the precision, precision of anything we can do. They had a social structure that seemed very aristocratic, with a lot of emphasis on social stature and structure. Site 2 is a much smaller set of chambers, mostly containing burial sites, temples, and various amounts of individual artifacts. This site has been photographed and cleared out, and all material is back on Earth for study and review. Site 3 produced our prize artifact, what we call the Soul Cube. If you have read or seen the other material, you probably know that this once grand civilization was attacked by some unknown force. And if we can believe what is written in stone, they sacrificed most of their society to drive the invaders back. There are additional reports filed on the Soul King with central administration. We also recovered several other device type artifacts. They are not as ornate as the Soul King, but each appears unique. We are still learning how to interpret all of the glyphs, and hopefully, once we have that completed, the science teams can provide more detailed information on their technology. And these are truly unique and special times for archaeologists. What you see before you is a relic codenamed U1, or simply Soul U. It was discovered in 2104. Located in a geographic region where UAC researchers have unearthed evidence of a long lost civilization. We know nothing of this civilization other than they existed, and that they were all wiped out in some type of cataclysmic event, according to what we've been able to decode from stone tablets found throughout the ruins. What clues we have been able to piece together reveal a culturally advanced society whose technology can only be described as mystic, as evident.
Recon Zulu, this is Echo 1. Give me a visual status. Echo 1, this is Recon Zulu. We've got massive damage all over the base. This place looks like hell. I've got light signs on the bioscanner. Nice sharp. Echo 1, we've got a survivor, a Marine. Corporal, you hear me? You alright? Can you hear me? Echo 1, this is Recon Zulu. Prepare for medevac. Copy that. Have you located Counselor Swan? Yes, sir. He's dead. Roger, Recon 1. What about Dr. Petruger? He's nowhere to be found, sir. 